Hello and welcome to the Music Room. I'm Duncan Taylor. Today we're going to take a quick but in-depth look at a wonderful pair of headphones, uh, planar magnetics called Empyrean from Romanian headphone maker Meze. Meze has been in the hi-fi business making headphones for 10 years, but this is their latest and state-of-the-art greatest product that they've ever made. Uh, and it deserves a lot of attention because it actually achieves a really unique design goal among planar magnetics. And we'll get into that. But first, let's talk about planar magnetics. What is the difference between planar magnetics and dynamics? A dynamic set of headphones more resembles a speaker. It's got a cone, it's got one magnet. Planar magnetics approach things a different way with two magnets, one in front and one in back. And instead of a cone, it's just a sheet, uh, usually of some sort of plastic, but with that's imbued with uh, conductive material, usually uh, very thin wires called traces. Now this um, comes into the discussion with the Empyrean because one of the wonderful technology advances that Meze was able to pull off with the Empyrean is a hybrid array that uh, has never been seen before in the planar magnetic market. Um, I'll, I'll explain. The way that you do traces on a planar dynamic driver makes a difference. We find that a certain uh, spiral trace, something that actually looks like a spiral, uh, can produce treble much better than uh, the other types of traces. There's linear traces. Actually, what Meze uses uh, outside the spiral is a switchback trace. So if you can picture hiking up a mountain, you go like this so that it's not as steep. Those are switchbacks. Switchbacks are much better at producing bass than the spiral design. Now, uh, Meze placed the spiral design right at the entrance to the ear canal. And uh, I'll go, I'll start going into why, because that actually comes into play with the rest of the design as well. When you put on the traditional planar magnetic headphones, one of the first things that you notice is how heavy they are. One of the second things you notice is that you can't move your head because they kind of have this momentum and they'll start shifting. And if you're listening to music, you actually hear the sound change considerably as you're moving. You might you might pop a seal in the cup and you lose some bass. You might just have the image kind of moving around. You, you, but you find with a lot of planar dynamic magnetic headphones out there that you have to have your head in a vise, maybe even resting on something because of the weight. Well, the first thing you notice when you put on the Empyrean is that they're almost featherweight, which is just a staggering achievement for planar magnetic headphones. The second thing you notice is they do not move when you start moving your head. You can dance, you can kind of bob and weave, and, uh, and they stay the same, which is just an incredible feat. And really, um, you know, what I was uh, displaying right there was how they stay in, in place thanks to the supportive structure. When you're listening, it's remarkable that you can move your head and do anything and the music is just pure. Um, so this was part of those, uh, part of that was the, the drivers where they put the spiral right at the entrance to the ear canal. But another uh, part that plays a role into that is the ovioid shaped cups. Um, in planar magnetic headphones we can see D-shaped cups, we see perfectly round shaped cups, um, but this was a shape that uh, Meze engineers spent a lot of time trying to design so that it would uh, work with all ear types. Um, the way that they placed the spiral and switchback traces as well is so that they can deal with ear variability. Um, most of the variability in people's ears happens above the ear canals. And so uh, all of that space is taken up by the switchbacks that are producing the bass. So in the end, you've got just uh, this experience of precision sound and, and a, a lightweight user experience um, where there's no neck fatigue, there's not listening fatigue. Uh, it's a set of headphones that really tackles a lot of the problems that have existed in the planar magnetic headphones market. The last thing they do to support this whole design objective uh, are these really cool carbon fiber uh, wings, the suspension system. You'll notice there's a bell and it's almost a perfect uh, sine wave until here when it just starts pulling out. And uh, that curve is very important when these are actually on your head um, because it spreads the weight out 
incredibly well across the top of your head and they just feel incredibly natural. So how do they sound? They sound really good. They sound incredible. They're, they're actually the best planar magnetic headphone that I have ever listened to. And uh, I'm Duncan, I'm a testing technician here at The Music Room, which is the world's largest retailer of certified pre-owned hi-fi gear. So you can imagine I've tested many, many headphones, and I have. I've listened to everything. And uh, I think uh, from the beginning of my experience with the Empyrean, all the way through when I had to bring them back, sadly, I really trusted the sound in this. Not only did it beat uh, headphones that I put against it that were in a similar category, planar magnetics, I, uh, I also tested it against an excellent set of dynamic headphones and the Empyreans won every time. Um, but for me, as a mastering engineer and a recording engineer who has used planar magnetic headphones in the studio in the past, I also think that these would be really, really good for my mastering jobs. Um, so I came away uh, just truly believing these are the, the absolute best planar magnetic headphones I have ever heard. The last little point I want to make here with the, with the Empyreans is how lovely the, not only the fit and finish of the actual headphones are, but the things that Mize thinks about as like the carrying case. Now we've seen a lot of very cool cases for uh, expensive headphones and these are no different. They're, they're quite spendy at $3,000, um, but I don't think we've seen this kind of attention paid to case work before. So it's just the whole experience with these Empyreans from the beginning to the end is just a lovely experience and uh, these are one of our favorite new headphones. Well thanks for watching this video about the Meze Empyreans. If you're interested in these or have any questions uh, feel free to contact any anybody at our uh, website. Um, we've got lots of information on these and we can help you get into a pair. But um, with that this has been another look at the uh, Mize Empyrean and uh, stay tuned for more videos from us including our brand new synergistic setups series but uh, thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one